Anwar Shah, a young carpenter employed in the workshop of Najib Bula, begins with the construction of the camera FAORI. Showing planks of wood he has chosen for the sides, smoothening them. Ramaging hither and thither until he finds more suitable pieces. Cranking the saw to light. To cut the lengths into slats. Working the slats into shape. To join the corners of the box. With the basic box complete, Manuvar moves on to the back door, the lens hole, and the side door. He consults an old camera FAORI. But something is missing. Aha! Holes cut. Manuver begins work on the back door. In which he will later place a red filter. After adding a frame to the hinge door, he attaches it to the hole. The drawer of the camera, used for storing the photographer's odds and lens, and the drawer casing. Proceeding to the side door, Manuvar assembles a makeshift compass to draw a circle where the photographer's arm will enter the interior of the camera, and cuts fabric for the sleeve he will attach to the side door. One size fits all. Manuvar attaches the sleeve in between two identical door sides. As the door fits with this, Manuvar attaches a hinge. But what was he thinking? It's missing a door frame, which is easily rectified. A great challenge lies ahead, the focusing system. Once again, he consults his old template and embarks on the heart of the camera. Drawing on his experience from the previous steps, Manuvar marks, cuts and sands, assembling with precision the parts of the revolving disc. The plate almost finished, he adds two wooden locks and continues with the focusing rods. Two rods to stabilize the focusing plate inside the camera. A third rod, the focusing pole, which allows the photographer to move the focusing plate backwards and forwards. Fitting the rods and plate in the camera, Manuvar now attaches his idea of a comfortable holding knob. A glorious new morning brings Manuvar to the final steps of building the camera FAORI. Beginning 
beginning with the lead of the camera. Measurements taken, he starts to cut the top and sides for the lead. This done, he proceeds to the eye hole. A hole, a hand-drawn circle, a round frame and a film canister form the first steps of the eye hole. Which, when combined, he secures with putty and leaves to dry under the sun. Manuver continues with the inside closing mechanism, which he creates from a long, strong nail and a piece of wood. With the eye hole complete, he adds door locks, latches, and attaches the lid of the camera, which are secured with finely fitted dogs of wood. Oh no! Another power cut! How can he bring life to these electrical archeries? Next, the display frame which will hold an array of photographs. Quickly followed by the edging of the camera. And the red filter which Manuvar places in the back door. Lastly, he tackles the negative holder. Once the holder is complete, the handle is attached to the lid. Manuvar has finished the camera. We are ready to leave. All done. But Manuvar has a question. Where is the lens? He inquires. Where is the lens? <laughs>